guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Lady. So we do have a bit of recovery right now and it's great to see that the money is coming back in, that the FUD is gone. Check out my latest video, I explain more or less what could have been the reason, but it's just my speculation and my speculation only. So market caps are 394 billion dollars and today we're gonna talk about Omisago, which is number 22, and I know loads of you guys like it a lot. It's currently trading at $14. So the reason why we're gonna talk about it is because of their roadmap update. It's always good to see what they've got planned ahead and what actually they have achieved from the plans they had. So recently there's been like a trend a very good trend, I should say, about constant technical development upgrades and all to basically make sure that the projects are becoming interesting as you have to compete with currently over 1600 projects. Every digital asset has some unique features that grab the attention of a certain number of traders. And I think that keeping updates, making sure that who you invested in is keeping up to the words is very important. So to keep up with other cryptocurrencies, obviously team released an updated version of their pre-existing roadmap a couple of days ago which is on the 9th of May here and today we're gonna talk about the aspects of this roadmap and the future of the coin. So for those of you who don't know, Omisago basically enables, as it says on the website, financial inclusion and interoperability through the public decentralized OMG network. I think that the ticker is a bit funny. I saw a Superman take, um, take a mick out of it, that it's something called OMG is actually number 22. I don't think we should be that skeptical about it. So let's see their roadmap just in general. So what are the completed events? So Amisa Go was first tokenized in July 2017 and after raising a quite a considerable amount of money, I think that was $25 million during its ICO state, um, ever since then, Omisego development team managed to tick quite a few boxes of achievements and upgrades, and some of the events basically include. So they had their token sale, that was in the second quarter of this coin in 2017. They've also had an airdrop in the quarter three, um, where the team announced an airdrop for their users in September 2017, and Basically, it was 5% of the total OMG supply was distributed to all Ethereum addresses having a balance greater than 0.1 Ethereum. This edge basically brought massive success for this cryptocurrency by increasing the popularity to a significant extent. And obviously, it's not a surprise that OMG experienced a surge in the price during that period. So let's see what they've got planned. So the way Omisa Go and its internal structure works is that it can be categorized into three principal segments, I'd say, being the decentralized exchange, the scalable blockchain, and the application interface. In all of those segments, basically, an incessant process of development updates is in process, and this is what we're going to discuss now. The decentralized exchange has basically undergone quite a few changes over the past few months. They're eliminating uh, Honte, which is basically a tender mine construction specifically designed to provide sufficient throughput along with a proof of stake algorithm. As the process rate of Plasma, another OMG project was greater than Honte, this initiative has been discarded and removed from the roadmap. They've also eliminated the Cosmos DX, as the OMG coin is going to be spooned right after the launch of Cosmos Hub launch. However, the Omisa God team will continue to work closely with the Cosmos team for creating a parallel decentralized exchange on Cosmos platform. Next, we have the development of non-custodial DX on Plasma and a full Plasma as well. So in case of the non-custodial, the OMG users will be allowed to have the custody of their funds with the non-custodial order settlement on the Plasma chain. In this phase, basically a centralized system to provide order matching would be maintained ideally this development is likely to be completed during the fourth quarter of this year. In the full Plasma phase though, the order book and order chain will be moved to the Plasma chain and various tokens including Ethereum and the ERC20 tokens will be supported on the exchange. Um, basically the development of this phase is yet to commence, they still need to update 
I think it's very important to take small steps and try and take it all off one after another instead of all together. There are always some additional developments as well, uh, which basically include creating an exchange for, for non-fungile tokens, removal, confirmation messages into the CG Plasma and many, many more, basically. I could go on it for ages, so I just thought I'll start off with the decentralized exchanges. I think that's my favorite part about Amusego. Okay, so that's about for decentralized exchange. Sorry I went into so much detail, but I think it's quite important to understand what they're getting rid of, what they're adding, what they're changing around. So let's go now to the number two being scalable blockchain where the Omisego development team has made considerable progress, I would say, in designing a scalable blockchain. So they have already finished the Plasma MVP while designing the Plasma Cash and Plasma Tesuji are still in the progress. They also plan to finish getting a ha hybrid and complete proof of stake system by the end of this year. I just hope they manage to keep it up and they haven't put too much onto themselves. Let's go to the application interface now. So they basically completed 50% of their application interface by going through with, with the alpha and beta phases of their wallet SDK successfully. They are also on calls for releasing a fully functional SDK wallet shortly, which will be called by the name Center. I think I'm saying it right, Center. So they've also got some additional features. Besides developing these three major segments, Amisago is likely to implement a similar amount of features like cash in, out, which is an AGI facility, blockchain integration, interconnectivity, and many, many others, basically. I mean, this is a really impressive map, and I think checking off all those things they've actually accomplished um, is quite interesting. They've got those two things to catch up with. So that's about it. It was a very technical video. I know that people are not exactly fans of roadmap updates. They rather prefer a price prediction. But I always say it's very important to check out the crypto you're invested in and make sure they sit up to their promises as you just you don't want to be scammed, do you? So let me know, guys. Do you huddle any Amisa go? Um, do you, are you guys fans of it? What do you think they could update as well? And remember to hit the subscribe button. Hit a like button as well. Follow us at all Coinbus ladies on our Twitter and follow me at all Sarah. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.